Um, we're we're actually playing the Winter Olympics in Canada. Whoa, cool. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, we doing another American tour, and that's as far as we know at the moment, I guess. Why do you guys think you have so much international appeal? Because a lot of Australian bands are huge in Australia, but they don't travel so well. And you guys are just you guys just seem to just smash it overseas. I think once sort of things took off in the US, that tends to permeate mm. a lot of places. Get on um, an iPhone commercial and yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. You know, I mean that that it helped and yeah. and everything. But um, you know, I mean it. We we just like toured there and and smashed it and then you know MTV picked it up and I remember going to Europe during f- festival season and we were all over MTV in Europe because we were in on MTV in the states that helped a lot mm. yeah you know it's just it, it's a pretty global influence that your states has on places you know like you you can go to Japan because your Japanese will see what the Americans are listening to and stuff what often. what and, have you yeah. what is Japan like because I I hear their crowds are mental yeah we actually just. The first shows we did this year was in Japan right after Christmas, and we did uh, four, f- two shows in Tokyo, and one in Nagoya, and one in Osaka. And it was we've fun- we've played there a lot of times. And I guess to also answer your question, like we've toured nonstop for so long, you know. So we're always we're always sort of reinforcing what's going on on the radio and stuff over there. And, but uh, yeah, Japan is like um, I mean, it really is. Out of all the places we've been to, it's like it's kind of like another planet, you know. I mean, you, you don't even look like anyone, you don't. I remember seeing someone laughing at my passport because it said, eye colors blue. And they're like, <laughs> no one's got any other color. They've all got the same color eyes yeah, over there, you know what I mean? It's like eye color orange. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what color. a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of touring, uh, you guys just off the back of the sort of Green Day tour that went ran around the country. How was that? It was good, yeah. Trey Cool made it interesting. Yeah, well, this is it because I, I've been on the website and I've seen how exactly he made it interesting. But if <laughs> people haven't seen it, what happened? Well, I mean, every night he would set off. They have these concussion mines. I don't know what you call it. It's just like it's a it's a loud explosion, obnoxious bang. It's an explosion, <laughs> obnoxious. And with like, he would just set it off during our set. <laughs> and the first time I thought some speakers had blown up or something, I was like that to Mark, like. <laughs> like what was that you know like mouth hanging open and um and then it happened again and then there was this guy in a, like a mexican wrestling mask over there i'm like ah oh, i get it right. Trey <laughs> cool <laughs> he would come out every show and do it um and then except for the second last one i thought oh this is a bad sign <laughs> and then a, sort of a lot of stuff happened but we played pranks back on them for example uh hiring pythons and snakes and stuff <laughs> and put them in their dressing room oh that's yeah. excellent did you get to film what happened Someone some, filmed it, yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, because it was Trey's birthday, so we got a crocodile with a party hat on, and when they were they were sound checking on stage, yeah. whose job was it to put the hat on the crocodile? Uh, there was a <laughs> Shotgun knot. Yeah. We got it was we got we called up a professional snake handler because we thought, what do Americans hate the most? Yeah. Pythons and crocodiles. Like, what do they hear about Australia? You know? yeah. yeah. What's totally. dangerous? <laughs> yeah. In the middle awesome. of the city, they still would completely believe that a crocodile would just crawl into a <laughs> yeah, sound yeah. check yeah. with a party hat on. Yeah. <laughs> I heard there was a party. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. We just walked around afterwards. I just had like a, like one of the massive carpet python or something just wrapped around me for like an hour after that. And they're just like walking about. That would have been so rock and it's roll. a good accessory, I tell yeah. you. It's better than a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> You just Very gut cool. it and use it as a guitar strap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I liked it. It was nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't kill it. Sorry. Sorry, wanted, guys. Yeah, you've upset me. Now. Um, <laughs> Interview over. Uh, guys, thanks for coming in. What about that snake-killing dickhead from Nova, hey? <laughs> <laughs>